Good evening. I'm Stephen Bajali. I'm the Associate Dean of the School of Library and Information Science. I want to welcome you all to our annual recognition ceremony for 2016. Thank you all for being here. We are uh, recording this and streaming it for our audience. As you know, we have an increasing number of students who live across the country. So uh, we're anxious to have them participate in all of our school events as well. So uh, we do what we can to uh, stream events and record them for people that are working or whatnot and, and look at them later on. So the first person I would like to bring to the podium is the Dean of the School of Library and Information Science and the University Library System, Sandra Yee. Thank you. Um, they didn't bring my box over so I could be tall. So uh, we'll have to go with this. Well, um, on behalf of uh, really the whole school, but I want on my, on my own behalf to welcome everyone um, to our event, a special welcome to our honorees, our uh, special guests, our donors, our students, faculty, and staff. This is a great event, and for anyone that may be online, uh, we welcome them as well. Uh, this is, of course, the best event of the year. Uh, we get to highlight outstanding grads of the school, as well as our scholarship winners and our active and engaged students. We are currently celebrating an amazing history of providing outstanding professionals. We thank our donors for helping to make it possible for so many of our students to complete their degrees. We also thank our faculty and staff for their ongoing commitment to excellence. As we prepare for our accreditation site team visit this weekend and early next week, we can feel confident in the fact that our outstanding students demonstrate that they have the skills and abilities that are necessary in today's information world. We know that we all have an ongoing and wonderful quality commitment to quality education. So thank you for being here tonight and please engage with us not only during the ceremony but afterwards and congratulations again to all of our award winners. So welcome. Thank you, Sandy. Before we get into tonight's program, I would like to introduce you to the faculty and staff of the School of Library and Information Science. So uh, when I call your name, if you would, uh, please stand. Uh, Timothy Bowman, assistant professor. Dr. Bowman. Dr. Bowman is our newest faculty member. He just joined us in August, so he's, he's our newest person. Deborah Charbonneau, assistant professor. Peter Hook, assistant professor. Kafi Kamazi, associate professor. Bin Lee, senior lecturer. Gordon Neville, associate professor. Diane Walster, professor, back in the room. And Jean Min Zhang, assistant professor. I'd also like to recognize three members of the faculty that are not here tonight. Hermina Angelescu is an associate professor, and she's on sabbatical this uh, semester, and she's spending it in Qatar. So she sends greetings from Doha. Uh, and then we have two faculty that are unable to join us as well. Joan Baudouin is a new associate professor, newly tenured this year, so that's good. And Kimberly Schroeder is a lecturer. I would also like to recognize the SLIS staff. Uh, Jennifer Bondi, academic services officer, back of the room. Megan Rahan Drulia, <laughs> academic services officer. Matthew Fredericks, academic services officer. Lana Parker, office coordinator. And Marguerite Carlton is our development officer for the school and the university library system. I want to give you a few brief remarks about the state of the school, I guess, while people, people watch on. 
I look over my shoulder. As Sandy mentioned to you, uh, we're coming up on our seven-year accreditation with the American Library Association. Uh, the school has been continuously accredited since 1967. So next year will be a really important year for us. It'll be our 50th anniversary. So uh, hope, hope you can all come back and, and join us then. But before then, we uh, have spent the past year um, working on our self-study that we present to the American Library Association Committee on Accreditation. We've had faculty, staff, alumni, other stakeholders working on committees this entire year, producing uh, a document of about 150 pages plus uh, numerous attachments. So it's been a, a major school-wide effort for the past year. But uh, we'll be visited um, starting on Sunday. And we have an outside team that comes to visit us and looks at the school. And we will get our accreditation decision in January. And i um, fully confident that we'll be accredited again for uh, seven years by the American Library Association. So we're looking forward to that and looking forward to getting beyond that. <laughs> so it'll be nice. I um, also want to mention that uh, uh, the School of Library and Information Science gives out over $100,000 worth of scholarships these days. And that's, uh, you know, that's really an amazing amount of money to go to master's students in schools of library and information science. And that's just within the school. The amount that's given by the university in terms of graduate professional scholarships, uh, graduate assistantships, and other forms of assistance adds another two to $300,000 every year. So uh, we're, we're giving out an, an awful lot of money. But as most of you know, going to grad school is not a, a cheap proposition these days. So I think our students are deeply appreciative of all the help that we can give them. And we're deeply appreciative of all of the donors that have helped us out to be able to recognize student scholarship. Yes, thank you. As I mentioned, we had a new assistant professor join us this year. We are uh, in the midst of recruiting for two faculty to join us uh, for next year. So um, our enrollment is actually up this year, 31% over last year. We had 31% new students compared to last year. So we're uh, excited. We hope that uh, uh, some of the challenges of the past are maybe a bit behind us. Um, we hope uh, that uh, as we expand our online program, particularly this year, we've included online orientation. So um, we think that's, that's been helpful. Students have been looking for that. And it's resulted in significant growth in the um, new student population. And then finally, I want to mention that uh, uh, we will be graduating in December 10 students that we've had participating in a federal grant, our Increasing Diversity of Librarianship grant, Project IDLE, that uh, Dr. Kamazi was the uh, faculty advisor for. So we've um, um, pleased to report that all of our students um, uh, have made it through the program. Uh, have, uh, we have two that are finishing up their studies this semester, but I have no doubt that they will finish and we will add 10 more students from underrepresented groups uh, to the profession to help diversify uh, the field of librarianship. So um, I would give, particularly want to recognize Dr. Kamazi and also Matt Fredericks has been really helpful to us with uh, Project Idle over the last uh, couple of years. So it's, it's, it's been a good, good program. And I did think I saw a couple of the Idle students here in the room. Didn't I see? Didn't I see Kalana's here, right? Kalana's here. And anybody else? Well, one, that's good. <laughs> All right, so that's it uh, for the state of the school. I think things are good. Uh, we've had a busy year. We're, we're excited for, for the year ahead and some of the new initiatives after we get beyond um, our accreditation visit over the weekend. So next, uh, I'd like to bring Sandy back up to uh, recognize our donors. As uh, we've both said now, we are uh, very, very grateful for donors who have um, taken that pledge to help other students by uh, setting up an endowment and providing scholarships. Um, tonight, we are very fortunate that some of those donors are actually in the audience, and I'd like to take a moment to uh, recognize them. 
Um, the first one we will recognize is um, Robert Ellison. Um, this donor is actually um, the, the scholarship in, don't feel if you have to get up, Bob, just wave. <laughs> wave to us all. Uh, this scholarship is in honor and, and in memory of his wife, Sally Ellison, who um, was a staff member at the Pretty Library. And um, we are very, very pleased and fortunate to have not only Bob here to um, show his support for this scholarship, but also his son, Brian, and his new wife, Brianna. So thank you both for all for being here. We have also in the audience, and um, he was right over there, but now gone. Where is uh, Dr. Holly? Bob Holly is back there. <laughs> uh, this is the Robert P. Holly Endowed Scholarship, and um, Bob is now a professor emeritus. Um, but was a professor here for many years, um, and actually before that, a member of the university library's um, administrative staff. And he and his wife, Martha, really have um, also helped to make certain that there is funding available for students um, who would not otherwise be able to um, go to school. So thank you again, Bob, and thank you so much for being here. Paulette E. Groen Endowed Scholarship. Um, David is here. He's going to wave two hands. David, her husband, is here um, representing Paulette. Paulette was for many years, she's been an, a, a very, very dedicated alum, uh, served many years on our alumni board, and was a librarian, um, a special librarian uh, for many years as well. And um, also, she and David have recognized the importance of giving back and helping us to make sure that we can support students uh, as they go through uh, their graduate programs. So congratulations to all of the scholarship winners that um, these folks and others um, have made available to us. So thank you very much to our donors. And thanks to the ones that are not here as well. Okay, now I would uh, like to bring up uh, Dr. Bin Lee and Dr. Diane Walster to recognize our scholarship recipients for this year. Below are the scholarship recipients. If you hear your name being called, please stand up and please remain standing until the end of this scholarship names. Thank you. Um, Isabel James Bass Endowed Scholarship, Catherine Ash. Rosemary um, Benaditi Endowed Scholarship, Kelly Boston. <laughs> we probably can like clap for all of them together till the end. <laughs> um, Book Scout Scholarship, Emily Thompson. Dean's Marriage Scholarship, Autumn Diaz. Diversity Recruitment Scholarship, um, Sucaria Lewis, Zandria Robbins, Audrey Swartz, Celine Allison Memorial Endowed Scholarship, Sheila Garcia, Judy Field Scholarship, Drew Diamond, Taven Hodgson, Jessica Holmes, Mark Suho Vecchi, Gloria A. Francis Memorial Endowed Scholarship, Michelle David. Graduate Professional Scholarship, Nathaniel Ons. Kimberly Auger. Emily Blake Swalski. Maeve Davlin. Laura Dotsas. Marty Dugan. Amber Farwell. Katherine Jones, Joyce Chrome, Michelle Mars, Kat and Karen McGee, Holly Overton, Mark Printville, 
Crystal Thomas, Laura Walsh, Margaret Haynes Grazer Indo Scholarship, Martha Mason, Paulette E. Grown Indo Scholarship, uh, Wesleyan Johnson, and Marianne T. Lawson Memorial Indo Scholarship, Elena Camp. And you just need to keep standing. <laughs> the Library and Information Science General Scholarship, Monica Ponzini and Emily Tobin. The Library Workforce Development Scholarship, Christine Rose Allen, Nicholas Badgley, Emily Cummings, Kimberly Feltner, Sheila Garcia, Catherine McKinney, Lucia Modestino, Kelsey Napier, Brittany Newland, Holly Osentoski, Chelsea Page, Damian Rostar, Caitlin Tang, and Jennifer Vanderhyde. The Marjorie A. Long Scholarship for Archival Administration. I know we're going to have somebody stand now. Aviola Akinpelu. The Metropolitan Detroit Medical Library Group Scholarship, Crystal Thomas. The Joseph J. Micah and Mary Ann Hartzell Micah Endowed Scholarship, Kimberly Feltner. The Roger S. and Muriel A. Pepper Endowed Scholarship, Emily Reitzel. Edith B. Phillips Endowed Scholarship, Jasmine Moser, and Dan Story. Two people I recognize, hooray. Um, the Diane M. Rockall Endowed Scholarship, Jenna Patnot. The Car Clara Lewis Russell Memorial Endowed Scholarship, Margaret Melissa Lennox. The Robert L. Sherwood Endowed Scholarship, Brittany Newland. The Lothar Spang Memorial Scholarship, Katerina Quain and Heather Roshan. The Peter and Jane Spires Duran Endowed Scholarship, Ryan Tackaberry. The Student Writing Award for Bibliographic Work, Rochelle Lamacchio. The Student Writing Award for Narrative, Callista Geiger, Veronica Johnson, Veronica's here, <laughs> and Angela White Badgett. The Student Travel Award, Denied Dracht. The H.W. Wilson Endowed Scholarship, Amanda Gonchev. <laughs> Shoni Hightower, Benjamin Knight, Nicole Williams. And that's the end, and you may now applaud. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You may sit down, and if you stood up at home, online, you may also sit down now. <laughs>
Nakenya Lewis Yarbrough, Lauren Cantoni, Akimia Buchanan, and Tracy Walker. For the uh, National Digital uh, Stewardship Alliance, uh, we have for President Marjib Wade, uh, Vice President Sandy uh, Soboboda, and we also have uh, Rosanna Brazil uh, as Secretary, Veronica Johnson, uh, Communication Chair, uh, Roxana Brazil again, uh, Mike Dukerich. Uh For the uh, Society of American Archive Visits, uh, we have uh, Mark uh, Prendeville, uh, Christine Niffen, uh, Nicole Manlaff, Secretary, Julia Wesley Blade, uh, Mark to carry chair again. No. Uh, the last organization is the student organization in, in uh, LIS, SOLIS, that's what we call it. Uh, Kenya Lewis as the president. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Now we're going to recognize our student award winner for this year, Barry, Dr. Gordon Neville. Adam, you want to come up? The Patricia B. Knapp Award uh, was established by the then Division of Library Science at Wayne State University in 1973 in memory of P Professor Knapp. The award is granted each year to a graduating MLIS student who, in the estimation of the faculty of Library and Information Science, represents those professional qualities which Professor Knapp exemplified so admirably. I'm pleased to announce that the winner is Adam Moseri. So um, thank you so much for this award. It's uh, truly an honor. Um, I had a great couple of years here at Wayne State University. Um, while here at the university, the best advice I got when I first started was jump in with both feet. So if you're a new student or about to complete your program here, I highly recommend you do that. Just jump in with both feet. If there's an opportunity out there to do it, go ahead and do it. And Try to make connections, if you can, with the faculty. I know a lot of you out there who are distance students, you're distance students. So connect with your professors via email. Connect with the faculty. It's completely worth it. It's worthwhile to really get to know them on a personal level. I can say that's something I did. And it really did affect my outlook on the program as well as my career. And I'm happy to say that you know, I, I am. I'm working in archival sciences as a uh, electronic and digital archivist for Kohler Company and I can say that I would not be here standing today without the program and all the opportunities that it gave me. So again, my best advice to anyone here today is jump in with both feet and make, make it worthwhile.
I think it's fair to say Adam represents the very best of the students that we have. He was a wonderful student. We're glad to uh, recognize his achievement this year. Next, uh, we have the uh, Distinguished Alumni Award. So, uh, Dr. Peter Hook, if you want to come up, and uh, Ron Wheeler, if you want to come up too. I'm particularly enthused to introduce our Distinguished Alumni Award recipient because I have spent 10 years as an academic uh, law librarian. I still consider myself an academic law librarian and always will. Um, Ron Wheeler, Ron E. Wheeler, Ronald E. Wheeler Jr. is currently the director of the Feynman and Pappas Law Libraries and associate professor of law and legal research at Boston University. Uh, Wheeler is also the current uh, president of the American Association of Law Libraries, which we refer to as AAAL. Uh, it is a professional organization of 4,500 librarians, quite large. Uh, academic librarians, firm librarians, special libraries, government, and even some vendors. Um, prior to his appointment at BU, Wheeler held the law library director positions at Suffolk and also at the University of San Francisco in law librarian positions at uh, Georgia State University and the University of New Mexico, where he mentored a personal friend of mine. So it's in interesting how connected this world is. Uh, Wheeler holds a JD from the University of Michigan Law School and a master's degree in library and information science from Wayne State University and a bachelor's degree in business from the University of Michigan Dearborn. I would truly need a lot more than 10 figures to tell you how many times I've heard over the years what a great guy Ron Wheeler is. So it's, it's a pleasure to present an award to an accomplished person who also happens to be a great guy. That was really nice. Wow, and did you notice we have matching shirts? It wasn't planned. So um, it's a little bit, so I should warn you that you never want to give me an open bar and a microphone, right? <laughs> so, because things go off the rails really quickly, but I'm trying to try and keep it really brief. I like to talk. Um, it is so meaningful to me to be receiving this award here in Detroit and at Wayne State. And I'm getting emotional talking about it. Um, you, I don't know everyone, you probably don't know. I grew up here in Detroit. Um, I have deep roots here in Detroit. And as I was walking over um, to the Inn on Ferry just now, I looked across the street and I said, wow, these buildings look really familiar. And then I read the plaque, Merrill Palmer Institute. You guys know the Merrill Palmer Institute here on campus? My grandparents worked at Merrill Palmer Institute their whole lives. My grandmother, my dad's mother, was a custodian. My grandfather was a chauffeur back before I-94 was built. So it was, you had to do a lot of driving to pick up professors and bring them down to Wayne State from the airport. Um, um, both um, of my grandparents uh, didn't finish, uh, my grandfather finished high school, my grandmother finished seventh grade. Um, my parents, uh, my dad worked for Ford Motor Company. He didn't finish high school. My mother was a clerical worker who was schizophrenic and struggled with mental illness her whole life and worked off and on. Um, and so I'm a first generation of college attendee, um, the first person in my family to uh, receive a graduate degree. Um, and my sister is a Wayne State alum. She was the first black woman in the Association of Black Engineers and Applied Sciences here at Wayne State. She's a chemical engineer and stay-at-home mom now. Um, so I love Wayne State. So I have these other degrees from those other universities. Um, I don't give them money. I don't. They don't need my money. Um, and I found my joy in my career because of my library and information science degree. Um, so it gives me joy to write the very small check I write every year. So we're gonna to have to talk about stepping that up a little bit. Um, which reminds me, when you young people graduate, give back to Wayne State. It's important. 
Um, the experiences you have here, the scholarships they gave you, don't grow on trees. They have to come from us. And we have to mentor the next generation of uh, library and information science professionals. I'm really going to stop very soon. Um, uh, yesterday, I was in Washington, D.C. at the Library of Congress. Um, and I was there as president of AALL um, at the swearing in of Dr. Carla Hayden, who is uh, as I think you all know, the first African American and the first woman and the 14th a librarian of Congress. Um, it was so meaningful. And she reminded us that it is particularly poignant for her, an African American woman, to hold that office um, in a country where black people were punished and killed for trying to learn to read. And she's now been entrusted with um, the written works of our country. It's, it was, I, you know, I cry at commercials, so <laughs> I was a mess when she said that. Um, and then I thought, gosh, why didn't I think of that? Um, so I'm the first African-American male and the first African-American out gay man president of AALL. And I always say that because it's important. Um, it may not be important to all of us in this room, but it is so important to people who don't have access to education to see people that look like themselves and dare to dream that they can do that too. Um, I had that in my life. I had no mentors that had graduate degrees. Um, and um, my dad gave me really great advice. Ron, just show up and work really hard. Just show up and work really hard. I've always taken jobs. When I got them, I thought, oh my gosh, I got that job. I'm never going to be able to do this job. What was I thinking, right? And I would call my father and I would say, I don't know, this is really hard. I don't really understand half of what these people are saying. Why do they think I can do this? And he would say, little Ronnie, because he's big Ron, <laughs> just show up and work really hard. Work really hard and people will notice. So that's my advice to all of you. I, you know, I'm, I'm not particularly smart. I'm just a good talker. Um, uh, I'm a fabulous teacher, and my advice to teachers is, um, when you're short on content, be big on personality. So that's my, um, you know, that's my shtick. Um, um, but what I tell everyone is that if I can do those things on my resume, all of you can too. All you have to do is show up and work hard and believe that the people who taught you the skills that you have knew what they were doing. And if they believe in you and if I believe in you, the, the sky's the limit. So I'm going to stop really now. Thank you all. This is so meaningful to me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now our final award of the night, if I could bring up Dr. Kofi Kamazi and Francis Hotchkiss. It's our Professional Service Award. While Fran is coming up, I just want to thank you, Ron Wheeler, for um, representing Wayne State so well. I'm a proud alum of Wayne State as well as a faculty member here. Um, and I think Wayne State is something special. If you look around the room, look at the tapestry, the rich, diverse tapestry that we have here. And it's something to really be proud of. Um, we can do a lot more with diversity, but in looking around the room, I'm feeling filled with the amount of diversity that's represented. So, um, yes. Uh, so again, I'm Kafi Kumasi, and I'm an associate professor here in the school, and um, um, I want to introduce our professional service award, which goes to Fran Hotch Hotchkiss. And Fran works full time as a youth services librarian uh, manager at the Brandon Township Public Library in Ortonville. And her Ortonville crew is over here, if you would give us a wave, yep. So I got a chance to meet her husband and her son and her brother, and um, who nominated her, Robin Lock Locken. 
And so thank you for that. And so um, just a little bit about Fran and before I let her um, tell you a little bit more about herself. So Fran dedicated more than 37 years uh, serving children and young adults and has become highly sought after uh, for her story time programs, which she has taken on the road to numerous school districts and uh, libraries across Michigan. Fran knew at an early age that children's story times was her calling, and she is said to have visited her local library almost every day as a child. She went on to earn a bachelor's degree in applied science and connected back to her library roots in an interest by uh, attaining the MLIS here at Wayne State in 1996. Um, a prime example of Fran's service to the profession is her 2005 publication entitled Frantastic Guide to Successful Story Times 101. So we look forward to getting a copy of that. And not only did she write this guide for her I peers. Uh oh, <laughs> we got I'm ebooks. Out for, yeah, for free, yes. I'm All right, we'll get a copy of that. And so not only did she write this guide for her peers, but she also provided sample crafts and um, patterns to uh, go along with each story thing. Um, in Robin Lopkins, uh, who nominated her, she uh, says that about just about every uh, child, which she would venture to say in uh, Brandonville, did I pronounce that right? Yep, uh, knows who Fran is. So that says a lot about her. And I wanted to close with the resolution that was recently passed by the village of Ortonville to honor Fran. And I'm going to read it in its entirety because I think this is a perfect place to uh, read this type of thing. So, whereas Fran has worked and devoted her time and energy to community uh, since 1975 and is presently head of youth services at Brandon Township Public Library. And whereas on April 28, 2004, Fran was named 2004 Michigan's Children Librarian of the Year by her youth division of the Michigan Library Association and MLA. Whereas Fran has been a champion of literacy for children, and whereas Fran has worked tirelessly to promote reading and goodwill within the community, and whereas Fran has been an ambassador for community to other libraries, um, whereas Fran has become a pillar in our community by giving her energy and talents freely to help both children and young adults. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Village Council for the Village of Ortonville does hereby express its community's admiration for Fran Hotchkiss for her commitment to dedication to our community, and be it further resolved that the residents and business members of the Village of Ortonville join in honoring Fran for her years of service to our community and they go on to certify. So without further ado, I welcome Fran and thank you for your service to the profession. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, Adam and Ron were hard acts to follow though, so um, I'm used to speaking to um, little toddlers and three-year-olds. And But anyway, I just want to um, thank Robin Lachlan for nominating me and um, for my brother Fred that attended, and my um, husband Tim, my son Sean, Dr. Royan Hassinger, a board member, Tanya Bryce is my assistant, I think I already said that, I'm nervous. Um, Lynn Kimmel was one of my assistants, and um, Jan Rathberg is a future board member, and she's um, one of my original Story Hour moms, and she brings her um, grandchildren now to my story time, so I'm very blessed to um, have, actually, I have great grandparents now that bring um, their great grandchildren and they brought their children and grandchildren. So I, it's just an honor and a joy to uh, get to go and get, actually get paid to do something that I love so much and to help a child um, find the perfect book or um, in story time to see them have so much fun with the band instruments and get so excited. It's just, it's a real joy and a pleasure. And I just really am so grateful to Wayne State University's um, School of Library and Information Science because um, I did start, actually I was 11 years old when I started as a paid employee. They paid me a dollar an hour out of petty cash. And um, because I knew the in library inside and out, I had the Dewey Decimal System memorized like when I was eight. And so the director said, would you like a job here? I could pay you a dollar an hour out of petty cash. And I said, yeah, oh, that was a lot of money to me. And um, so I just feel so honored. And I got my degree as I went along. Um, and I'd gotten my bachelor's um, from the University of um, Flint, I mean, Michigan and Flint, sorry. And um, I thought that's all I would need, you know, to be the head of the children's department. And then as our population grew, they said, well, in order to keep your position, you need to get your master's in library science. And I thought, oh boy. Um, but 
thank you to Wayne State University because you helped me um, keep my job and continue to grow in my job. And I say I'm going to retire when I'm 72. That'll be um, almost 60 years of service. And I'm so grateful um, to Wayne State for that. And thank you for this big honor. And thank you um, just for everything you've done. And um, it's just a joy to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to add my congratulations to all the winners. Um, don't usually like to let the audience in on the secrets of how we do all this, but I know you won't tell anybody. Um, you probably inferred from Fran's remarks that she's also a graduate of the School of Library and Information Science. Uh, normally, we distinguish between our awards, and we have an alum award that we give to one of our alums. And the other award uh, is for professional service. It can go to an alumnus, but we don't usually do that. It's usually our policy to say, no, no, we'll recognize one person who is one of ours and one who isn't. Uh, but I can say this year, um, uh, basically, uh, the nomination for Fran was so compelling that uh, we decided, mm, to heck with the rule. <laughs> This is how we're going to do it this year. So I think we, we picked two good winners. Uh, we're very pleased, Adam as well. Um, I'd also like to say that I, I, I don't think in the nine years that I've been doing this that I've uh, received more appreciation from the two uh, major winners than I did this year. So um, it's uh, nice. It, it's more than nice, I can tell you, as a faculty member a long time, that, that there's really nothing uh, that means more to us than having good students who go on to have great careers and are appreciative of what they got out of the school. I can tell you, it, makes, it means a lot. It really does. So with that, I um, hope you'll get some cake. Oh, sorry. Oh, OK. Let me just close this out so we can uh, uh, grab some cake um, <laughs> before it's all eaten, I guess. <laughs> so, um, thank you all for being here. Um, mix and mingle, we're appreciative to have you all here. And uh, again, thank you. Thank you very much.